and uh, I, I'm literally pinching myself down at the table. I find it so strange but incredible that we both said individual different matches at Bound for Glory were some of the best this company has ever seen, and both things are true. And of course, the conclusion of Bound for Glory saw the announcement that TNA is returning Saturday, January 13, 2024 at Hard to Kill. Will Ospreay took to social media shortly thereafter to put out Total Nonstop Assassin. On that interesting. Well, you know that's wherever he goes, there's nothing if not the Billy Goat being very confident in his abilities. He, he's on that rising star and he absolutely knows it. Oh, and now Osprey. Roughly pound for pound, the exact same size as Josh Alexander. Osprey had the size advantage against Speedball Mike Bailey. That will not be the case tonight. Josh Alexander, you know, the, the world. Whoa. I've talked about it before, Will Osprey main event in places like the Tokyo Dome for New Japan Pro Wrestling. His star has been on the rise for a while, but Josh Alexander is someone who I said is the best damn wrestler on the planet uh -oh. that not enough people were talking about. Well, I'll tell you, the people have been talking lately. The big back elbow there by Will Ospreay, picking up the speed here. And down goes Josh Alexander. <laughs> I tell you, very confident in everything he can do in that ring is Will Ospreay. Look out. Ospreay, oh, drops Alexander on the outside. This match is just getting warmed up. Osprey and Alexander, our main event, continues here on Access TV. Oh, the aerial assassin, the walking weapon. Will Osprey and Josh Alexander one on one for the first time ever in our main event. A match that has a very very big match feel here. It's got the energy of a world championship matchup. And now Osprey trying to ram. Oh, Alexander the turnbuckles and the two-time Impact World Champion standing his ground in an Impact ring. Osprey was in firm control and just got woken up courtesy of the walking weapon. Oh. And Osprey and Alexander exchanging these forearm blasts in the middle of the ring. That one stung Osprey. Oh, oh my God. Oh, went for the answer. Oh. Going into an ankle lock. Great counter there from Alexander. Saw the opening and took it. Trying to step through. Going for a sharpshooter. Sharpshooter on Osprey. All the way from the great right north. Alexander trying to make the Billy Goat submit. And getting to the bottom rope. Osprey breaks up the submission. I know Osprey is no technical slouch, but I feel like I have to give the grappling advantage in this one to Josh Alexander. They could feel Osprey grabbing at his lower back there. And imagine. If you take out the knee, you take out that lower base of Will Ospreay, you eliminate a lot of the, quote, aerial assassin's arsenal. I had the chance to speak recently on Impact's YouTube channel on Outside the Ropes with Will Ospreay. He had told me that Josh Alexander, he's like, yeah, I've heard a lot of great things about Josh Alexander, but part of me thinks he was underestimating Alexander. Oh, and the backbreaker by Ospreay. Here's the cover. Oh, what a kick out there by Alexander. Osprey did not hook the leg to the point I was just making. And sometimes when you're at the level that someone like Will Osprey is at, respectfully, I think it may less underestimating Alexander, but that's just the level of confidence you have when you are considered the best in the world by many. You feel like you can beat anybody. Oh, and Will Ospreay believes that deep oh, yeah. down in his soul. I don't doubt that one iota, but Josh Alexander, you and I both know, feels the exact same way. No doubt about that. Oh, huge chop there by Ospreay. Down goes Alexander. 
I think that one was just to get in the head of Alexander, not actually go for a cover. And a little bit of oi, oi, oi for is the it, UK's finest. Is it time for an Oz cutter? Went to the ropes, tracked down there by Alexander. Alexander might have been oh. looking for a German suplex there. Oh, oh running, shooting star, cover, oh, and a kick out. Just simply dazzling offense. A 230 pounder moving around like that. It's so impressive. With absolute sniper like precision. And Alexander moments ago went into the top turnbuckle that surgically repaired neck went into the turnbuckle. Gotta wonder if that's been affected at all. Slides underneath. Alexander, there's a German suplex. And not letting go the iron grip of the walking yeah. weapon. Holding strong here. Yeah. Yeah. Osprey, Osprey gets one, to the ropes here. Two, three, four. The official applying his count. Oh, Alexander oh. breaks. Alexander in a fighting mood tonight. Osprey gets the insecurity he wanted earlier. After landing on his feet in that counter to the German suplex, incredible action here. Oh! oh. Went for the Hurricane Rana again. Oh, and a backbreaker! A gnarly backbreaker by Alexander! Kick out oh. by Osprey! And I want to point something out, Tom. There, there was a little less oats behind that kick out from Osprey than before. He just barely got that shoulder up, that nasty backbreaker, courtesy of Josh Alexander. Chance of TNA here in Chicago, the site of Bound for Glory, where the announcement was made that TNA will be returning as a part of Hard to Kill, Saturday, January 13, 2024, live on pay-per-view at the Palms in Las Vegas. This company has so much momentum right now, and this huge main event this evening, Alexander and Osprey is a part of it. Those three special letters. Oh, oh straight man. right. For total non-stop action, you're getting all of that and more here. Alexander trails Osprey, the assassin and the weapon going toe to toe. This match continues picture in picture. Absolute incredible action here between two of the very best going today in professional wrestling. Alexander tosses Osprey back inside the ring, knee right to the spine. That vicious back break that we saw moments ago. I know that made your spine tingle. No, I could feel it. I just, my own spine shattering <laughs> at the very sight of it. And now, Alexander finds finds himself in control of Will Osprey here. Osprey desperate to fight back. Osprey oh, wants to push the pace. Alexander stays close. Northern Lights suplex here. Oh, and Osprey gets the shoulder up. And so far, Alexander was focused briefly on the leg with the ankle lock, but since then has been a lot of focus on the spine, on the neck of Osprey. First, end of the turnbuckle. And now look at Alexander beckoning Osprey. Now, yeah, it's the walking weapon. Starting to feel the confidence rise as he takes firmer and firmer control of this match. Now, Osprey again sent spine first into the turnbuckles, and now you have to really start considering the damage that's been done via the back to the spine of Will Osprey. How much is that going to affect the offense he's capable of? I mean, so much of it. Not only the aerial offense, which takes so much core stability, spine stability, but some of his power as well. Things like the Stormbreaker become a lot more difficult. Oh, kick right to the face there by Alexander. 
And we talked about the confidence, maybe bordering on arrogance of Will Ospreay, just how absolutely 100% sure of himself he is. When Josh Alexander gets going, there is nobody more confident on the planet. Now look at ooh, Osprey. Ooh, ooh. Osprey trying to break the grip. Trying to break the grip. And he does manage to do so and get away here for a second from Josh Alexander. Oh. And Alexander's not done. Oh, and Osprey into the top turnbuckle. And Alexander continues the assault. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event, a first time ever battle. Will Osprey one on one with Josh Alexander? Osprey, considered by many to be the best wrestler in the world, trying to take oh. out the standard of Impact Wrestling. And right there, laser focus perfectly placed on that handspring kick, levels the walking weapon. For much of this matchup, Josh Alexander has done an excellent job attacking the back, the spine of Will Ospreay. has taken away a lot of the high-paced, high-flying offense of Ospreay. But the aerial assassin has an opening. Perseveres beautiful forearm. Spectacular forearm and a kick out, dare I say, phenomenal. Once upon a time, a young Will Ospreay was inspired by TNA and AJ Styles. The unbreakable three-way match back in 2005 made him a fan of TNA. Oh, now close range kicks here, right to the nose. And you know, we keep talking about how this being a battle of two of the very best in the world, and it is that, but there is an undertone we haven't really touched on here. We are here in the impact zone, in an impact wrestling ring. We know how much that means personally to Josh Alexander, Will Ospreay, a product of the UK, a product of New Japan Pro Wrestling. This is Impact Turf. Josh Alexander here to defend. And Alexander oh. wants more from Osprey, and not gonna back down in the face of the Billy Goat. There it is. Welcoming the fight. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Oh! Alexander kicking Osprey right in the face. Uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Alexander, can he corral Osprey? Look at that. Correcting the weight in midair, the strength of the walking weapon. Jumping Osprey and a kick out. I cannot overstate how difficult that is to catch someone midair, redirect their weight, and then slam them down like that. Up onto the shoulders. Or an Alexander. Look at the strength of Alexander bringing Osprey with him to the top turnbuckle. Osprey fighting down though, trying to break free of Alexander. Oh, look at Osprey! Down he goes with the rolling senton. The avalanche rolling senton cover. No. Oh, and Osprey gets his shoulder up. And now and not the way Alexander hooked that arm as whoa! Oh, Osprey! Osprey! Oh, Tiger Driver! And you've got to say another look at it. Look at the way. Watch the way Will Osprey counters this from Alexander. Lands perfectly and hits this sit-out power bomb on the walking weapon. What a matchup this has been between Osprey and Alexander. Two of the absolute best. I know if folks at home, you're sick of hearing me say it. I am absolutely not sick of saying it. Osprey with a big boot to the face of Alexander. Osprey's got an opening. Oh, uh, here we go. Stuff in the head of Alexander. Oh, Ooh. cheeky Nando's. The mouthpiece dropped out of the mouth of Alexander. Compressing the neck and spinal cord of Alexander against the turnbuckle. Now wait, 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 wait. Oh! Alexander, the resilience, managing to get up to his feet and stopping Osprey, cutting him off the pass. 
And oh wait, he's got the waist grip here. Could he be thinking German suplex from all the way up here? Alexander to the mat. Alexander could be out. Skull on skull contact. Oh, now Osprey. Whoa, Whoa. Twisting through the air, but landed awkwardly on his right knee. He was looking for that full twisting moonsault. Alexander, though, a shark spilling blood in the water. Oh, and a go into the ankle lock. Immediately going for that twisted leg that Osprey just landed on. Alexander, very wise, goes after the ankle lock. Osprey creates a little separation. Oh! Osprey looking to recover, trying to shake some feeling. Oh, oh. wait a minute, wait a minute. Some trouble with the right leg. What did the Oz cut out? Oh. Couldn't connect. Ankle lock. That moment of hesitation, that pain radiating through the leg. Alexander takes advantage. Osprey trying to get to the bottom rope. Damage done to the right leg. Oh, Whoa. wait a minute, caught, caught by Alexander. Caught again, Alexander having an answer every step of the way, finding his way back to this ankle lock. Ankle lock by Alexander. Is he gonna get the best wrestler in the world to tap out in an impact ring? Oh, and Osprey gets to the bottom rope. What a chip on the shoulder. What a tip of the hat, a feather in his cap it would be if that would have happened. And Osprey somehow is still alive. Oh, and just even trying to plant on that right leg is causing so much damage. That's why Alexander oh. went for the left. Hold on, cover. Osprey trying to surprise Alexander. And that might be what it takes. He's gonna have to pull out some of those surprise counters here. Oh, oh, just like that, just like that. Stunned dog millionaire. But look, still, he's trying to do what he can. Yes, cutter. And he got it, despite the pain in his leg. Cover. Alexander able to kick out. Osprey was favoring the right leg so badly, he couldn't hook the leg of Alexander on the cover. He's fighting through everything here to try to get it done. Lots of pain in that leg and could be looking to line up the hidden blade. Oh, I rushed for the hidden blade, but the leg gave out. That's just how much damage the walking weapon has done to Osprey. If he can't hit that hidden blade, oh, oh. He's gonna have to find some other tools in his wheelhouse. Oh, now head to head. Osprey and Alexander. Like a couple of bulls clashing horns here. The unstoppable force against the immovable object. Osprey and Alexander. And look, the trash talk's getting nastier. The hits are getting hotter. The sweat is flying farther. Oh! Oh, oh God! Right to the back of the neck, the surgically repaired neck of Alexander. Now look out! Whoa! He's trying to set him up, and now Osprey into the corner. Alexander holds on. Sure, oh. suplex with the bridge. Is it enough? Oh, kick out by Osprey! Chaos theory in the impact zone. Not enough to put the aerial assassin away. Oh, and a stop, a stop to the ankle. Going back to the injured right leg. Continuing to obliterate the ankle, potentially obliterate the vertical base of Will Ospreay. Again, is Osprey going to tap in an impact ring to the heart and soul of impact wrestling? Oh, Osprey fighting back here with his with his good leg as much as he can. Oh. Oh, Spanish fly! Spanish fly! Alexander kicks out. The ability of Will Osprey to pull things like that out of his hat, out of his back pocket, 
despite everything done to his leg. Amen, Chicago. Please never, ever stop. So much damage done to the right leg. Off the top, the Oz Cutter. But Osprey is not letting go. He has got a grip on Alexander. Look at the eyes of the Billy Goat. Up on the shoulders. Oh, wait a minute. Turn around. Turn around. Pile driver. Pile driver. Oh, Osprey kicked out. How in the hell does either one of these guys win this? Everything has an answer. Everything has a retort. The best of the best of the best. And now Alexander. I was thinking C4 Spike. Oh, hit and blade, hit and blade. Oh, and the shoulder up in time. He nearly took his head off. What's it gonna take here? The ferocity of Osprey, Osprey continues. Storm Driver 93, kick out. The heart and soul of Impact Wrestling is showing the heart and soul he has as a man, but Osprey is incensed. The pad is gone, hit it, Blade, to the back of the head. Osprey not done, follows up here, Stormbreaker! Cover! Will Osprey defeat Josh Alexander? Here is your winner! I question every time I see one of these two wrestle if they can ever keep getting better and they answer every single time. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights of this thrilling matchup. The backbreaker there by Alexander and thinking of the offensive dish now going out to the spine of Will Ospreay. Ospreay, however, pushed through, hitting this power bomb and then going for the Os cutter out of the corner despite damage done to his right leg throughout the matchup. But Alexander would not go quietly. The twisting pile driver then followed up by a hidden blade by Osprey, and then up on the shoulders for Stormbreaker. Will Osprey puts away the standard of Impact Wrestling. One of the greatest matchups we have ever seen here in the Impact Zone. On the brink of a momentous 2024 for this company. Tonight was all about.